I did not grow up on a farm. I had sort of a pretty typical suburban upbringing. Growing up, I didn't have an interest in farming. My dad kept a vegetable garden, and I don't think I ever helped him in the garden. After college, a friend sent my wife and myself a book by Wendell Berry, and through his fiction, I sort of fell in love with his vision of the good life, where one's life is all very integrated and very much blossoms out of the home. And farming really lends itself to that. You know, you walk out your front door and there's your work, which was really compelling and that was the beginning. For someone that didn't grow up on a farm, we've made the typical mistakes and had the typical adventures. I believe the best kind of farming pays close attention to how nature works. Let me look at how nature works and try and mimic that in a way that is productive for food and land. Would a chicken want to live in a confined barn or on fresh grass twice a day? If you look at the chickens of both scenarios, it's pretty clear the chickens really thrive when they're raised in a way that mimics what they'd like to do if they were sort of still wild. It's critical, uh, you know, otherwise, you know, if you don't pay attention to how nature works, you're going to run into problems and nature sort of always has the last word. Healthy animals make healthy food. That seems to me like just a very common sense conclusion. So if you're putting animals who would have died had they not been propped up on antibiotics inside your body, that can't be the best model. Being a farmer is really special because this is my office. You spend your day making animals happy. Every little task, they're, they're mundane small tasks, but they all are satisfying because you get to do things that help the things around you thrive. The things about being a farmer that give me the most pride would be when I see the land is more fertile than it was before. So when I'm pulling chicken shelters across the field and I can see the grass that's now growing up from where the chicken shelter was, is you know this much taller and greener and thicker and lusher because of what we here at the farm and the chickens have done together that makes me excited when I'm an old man and if my dream comes true and I'm here and family is you know taking over the business from me and and I can measure how much better the land is that will give me a lot of pride I have no problem having motivation to do what I do. I have a problem stopping doing what I'm doing. I guess, you know, for me, I just love the work. I love working outside. I love doing something that's so clearly beneficial to the animals, the land, the people around me. It's just very satisfying. I mean, when you get out there and you're working hard, it feels good. There's definitely times when I'm stressed out, but it, the thought never crossed my mind like, maybe I'm gonna go do something else. It's no, I'm gonna do this better. I think people should buy from local sustainable farms because it is the best thing for all parties involved. Through all of our decisions, we affect the world we leave behind and the world we create. If you support large industrial or even industrial organic farms, that's the kind of world you're supporting and creating. Or do you want to create a world where there's beautiful farms that are right in their backyard where there's a, a viable, noble business for that farmer, where the land is becoming more and more fertile and therefore the food's becoming more and more healthy. Do we want to support the people who are doing things right and contribute to that kind of world?